Is it one? No, it's two. Sad by sad, I don't have no clue. I'm talking a hardy, shedding out gigs. Cappy as the name takes out of the blue. CM is the one with sense. Hence, you can't just sit on the fence. Come true the foolishness, just look at the gaffer and sit on the bench. When you talk about wins, we got that. Time to settle this thing with a chop back. Aim top corner, roll top scorers. We spread the play that floor up. Out in the field, United twins to the next of kings. Question debate is a show that brings it a one feet one. Try to see who wins. And UFC. Yes, everybody, welcome back to another episode of the United Twins with myself, CM, and my twin bro, Cappy, on the other line. Manchester United won, West Ham United nil, and that, to sum it all up, was a hard-fought victory. In the first half, I thought that we kept control of the proceedings well. I want to bring something to everybody's attention. In the last 28 days, 52.9% of the people that have watched this video, yeah, you, yes, you, I'm not subscribed to this channel. I've not been subscribed to this channel. What is the reason? Stop it. Get some help. Let me know in the comments if you come across this video. But surely, if you enjoy it, it won't hurt to click that subscribe button. Come to Papa! Holding on to possession and creating a few chances here and there. It wasn't an offensive masterclass by any means, but we stayed patient, waiting for that opportunity that eventually came, courtesy of Marcus Rashford with yet again. An absolutely devastating header. And how about that cross from Christian Eriksen? Right on the money for Rashford to just use the power to get it past the keeper before he had an opportunity to even blink. Ooh, Second half. I believe we lost a bit of that control and quality on ball, which then gave West Ham more opportunities to break. And I'd say they fully ascended in or around the 60th minute. He looked really confident on the ball and Ten Hag spotted that out. Brought on the likes of McTominay and Fred to help out with the defensive work that we did have to do for the remainder of the game. And I don't know about you guys, Cappy, but I was really satisfied with this victory. Seeing how the crowd and the players reacted to that full-time whistle and once again, we have a long way to go as a team. We have a long way to go as a fan base, really, in terms of personal and group growth. But every game, I can't help but notice the small things that we are gradually getting better at by the week. Mixed in with the results to come with that, you have a recipe for a wonderful end to the weekend. Today I'm here to fling out some flowers because I'm in an extra, extra read all about it called me. Large ups to the squad for getting it done once again. Every game is going to be pretty. You have to walk out of the darkness to find the light. And today we dabbled in a bit of both. The goals we scored? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm -hmm. Can I just say that I'm enjoying these well-worked goals, CM? Of course, there are still times that we may make the wrong decisions. You can see the level of patience these guys are developing. Picking up pockets of ball today and more times than not, those players were found. You have the confidence and the personnel to play those splitting passes successfully. Defensively, well, big up everybody, but I want to slap some flowers to the likes of Delow and Martinez who for the majority of the game were making the right reads, winning crucial headers, intercepting the ball. It was a masterclass of recovery from those guys at the right time. We saw some late heroics from the likes of Maguire, David De Gea. Let's all sit down for a minute and put a lovely good litre of respect juice to that guy. Because the saves he made, particularly from Zuma and Rice, result altering. One thing I think Ten Hag won't be too keen on will be the fact that we invited a lot of pressure late on in the game. And that could be for an array of reasons, but guess what, ladies and gents? We got the three points, and for now, that's all that matters. Next up is another crucial game against Real Sociedad. Be sure to click the link in the top right to find out how we can finish top of the group and avoid 
that dreaded extra playoff knockout round. But ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of the video. If you've enjoyed, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to CM22ENT. Be sure to follow us over on Twitch at CM22ENT for NBA chillathons, gaming streams, wrestling chillathons, football streams, all of the above. Be sure to follow on all socials, mostly Twitter and TikTok. And be sure to join the community Discord, large upper world of the 22s in the cut. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back after Real Sociedad. But until then, we'll see you lot soon. Up.